Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube world. This is just a very quick look at the new update in terms of the crafting station and the recycling station. That's it. And I'm in the middle, kinda, because my head was blocking the UI of what I wanted to show you. So this again is a very, very quick video. You're not gonna see a lot of gunplay and any of that fancy stuff. So the UI recycling station is really cool because when you go here any crafting resources that you have which I've already done you can dump it into the resource storage bin so it has its own storage bin of up to 250 so that's absolutely amazing also anything that you want to recycle that you don't want you can just go through your different tabs and see like what you would want to um, recycle so like for example well you can't recycle that can you recycle bullets no yeah, we're not going to recycle that. It'll tell you at the bottom, recycle item. You'll see the stuff that you can recycle. You just click on it. So, like, for example, when you look at the bottom, it'll actually show you what you would get in return if you were to get rid of it. So if I were to recycle the experimental weapon, I would get 8 adhesive, 16 steel. And it automatically puts it in your storage. So I thought that was really, really neat. Simple as that, and I like that we're on a weight system. No longer, uh, you know, like 50,000 stacks of 20 ammo. That was just ridiculous. It's just all in one number, one stack. I really appreciate that. So once you've used the recycling station, you can use those items to potentially craft. Now, I don't have anything. Again, this is just showcasing very quickly uh, some of the new stuff, particularly just these two stations, in case you're on console, you haven't gotten the update yet, or you're on PC, maybe you haven't bought the game, or I don't know, you haven't updated the game yet. It's like 10 gigs. So here, as you can see, if you want to make boots, here's what's available. Then you can s skim through the different ones, and on the right-hand side, if there are stats, like over here, 3% fall resistance, then you would see that. But again, we don't have the schematic, so I can't I can't show you like what materials are needed. Uh, is there more than just what's here? Again, the developers have stated that this is just the beginning. So there's probably going to be a lot more than just a red windbreaker, a violet biker jacket, and a green military jacket, and some ski jackets with a few different colors. There's probably going to be a little bit more to it I would assume, like, there's only one t-shirt with fire resistance. Can we unlock more right now in the game? To be honest with you, I, I just, I don't know. I really don't. But anyhow, so you can do that. This is a quick three-minute video on what that looks like. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Apart from that, there really isn't anything else I can share with you in terms of the crafting station and the recycling station. I just thought I would show you that because I wasn't aware of this. This was like to me the biggest thing was that you can store, like I said, all your recyclable parts in there. That's like really, really neat. Anyhow, that's it for this video. If you uh, liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure when you play the game I will stuff you in that recyclable box. You'll be stuck in there in quarantine for about a week, and then when you come out, you'll have to look at Almighty Jesus himself, and you'll have to beg him for forgiveness. And it won't be me. You'll be asking for it. And uh, don't ask what that was. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.